Yo, 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 what up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Cooking with Chef. So today we're going to make some ribs and some macaroni and some collard greens and, like, some cornbread. Like, dude, it's going to get lit. Okay? I'm going to break it down. I'm going to bust it down. I'm going to make it easy. You know what I'm saying? For those who don't know, you know what I'm saying? You can use your oven for a lot of stuff. So I'm going to show you how I do the oven. Use the oven to make the rib. You dig what I'm saying? So let's get into it. Scoop. All right, so first things first, you want to make sure your kitchen area is clean. You want to make sure everything is in place. You ain't fumbling over nothing. You ain't tripping over nothing. It ain't nothing in your way. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure your area nice and well put together. You know what I'm saying? It's my boy Jalen over there. Jalen, say what's up. What? Okay. All right, so we're going to start with the meat first. Because the meat usually takes the longest to cook, so you want to go ahead and get that started. So what I like to do, I like to rinse my meat off. It don't matter where I buy it from, especially Walmart. You got to rinse your meat off. Rinse fruits, vegetables, rinse all that off because you don't know who touched the last, or who had wet, and yada, 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 so on and so forth. You dig what I'm saying? You don't, you don't want to use no hot water. You want to use some nice, cold, cool water, you know what I'm saying? Because hot water will start cooking the meat. And you don't want to cook it before you start cooking it, because then it's going to be all cooked you know what i'm saying so i just like to take it and you know take each individual piece rub on it you know what i'm saying like you rub on your old lady or your your husband or whoever or whatever you rub on you know it ain't none of my business but you want to rub on it you know what i'm saying get all that preservative and all that extra stuff off of that as your rent got to be clear like almost enough for you to drink it but don't 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 drink it all right i don't want nobody going to the hospital because i said drink the the, the real water it's nasty All right, gang, so now that we got all the meat rinsing off, now we got all the, the rinsing of the meat. Oh my God. Now we got all the meat rinsing done. It's time for the seasoning game. So, you know, I like a little parsley, parsley just for the look. And I got this famous Dave's, you know what I'm saying? Real, real, it's good on everything. And literally, it's good on everything. Then I got this adobo, huh? the orange one. I don't know what, what, what it say on there. It say something with an S, sazon or something like that. Onion powder. Cause that's lit. Then wood fried garlic, cause it's, I, I love garlic. I gotta have garlic with everything. It's either this or regular garlic. I just love garlic. And a little bit of Louisiana Cajun season to give it that little bit. You know what I'm saying? That miko, miko. You did what I'm saying? All right, so you know, this is how we are gonna start. I'm gonna take a little onion powder. And then when you season it, you wanna season it good. You wanna get in there, you know what I'm saying? Evenly coated, you know what I'm saying? You know, like my mama used to always say, we don't measure stuff in my mama house when we when my mama used to cook she just she literally just boof you know what i'm saying that one boof that was that was it and that's the word she used boof b-o-o-f i'd be like mom well how much how i know uh what all i need to put in there she'd be like well junior just open it up and boof you, you gotta know you gotta know she said give me that garlic over there boof i'm like bro every time you know but you want to you know get it all in there you know what i'm saying and I'm a very hands-on person. After this, I just like to rub it down. Oh, rub it down. And get it on, get it all in there. Nice and even, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to go overboard because then your food might either be salty or it's just, just you're just going to go overboard with the seasoning in there. It's just not going to taste good. Or it might taste good, but you know, it just might be a little overly seasoned. And some people got high blood pressure, diabetes, and stuff like that. You don't want nobody having an episode, so just watch your season. You know what I'm saying? Don't go go crazy, but don't go too crazy. You know, a little parsley on them. I usually put a parsley on at the end, but I'm gonna put it on there now, just for the camera. And last but not least, my Cajun season. Now this one, I go crazy with the Cajun season, cause I gotta have a little kick in my ribs. You know what I'm saying? So you want to rub it in, you know what I'm saying? Like you putting lotion on in the morning, you know, for my people who wear lotion, you want to rub it. You know what I'm saying? Get it all over there. Cover it, even the bone. Season the bone too, you know. Get all that in there. Yeah, get him right. Even a little bit of season that's left in the bottom of things. All of that, all of that. Don't leave no stone unturned. All right, check it out. So now we got these ribs all seasoned up and stuff. Now it's time to put them in the oven and let them do their little thank you thing. All right, so I'm putting my ribs on the foil. 
And right as I'm sticking them in the foil on the oven, I'm gonna put my bone side down, you know what I'm saying? like nine, nine little pieces of ribs, so. Also shout out to CCC, Compassionate Community Church, cause that's where we go to church at, you did what I'm saying? Shout out to my pastor, Chelsea and Lavelle Woodard, you did? All right, so we gonna go ahead and wrap this up like this. You give it a good little, little, mm. I'm gonna have to take another piece and put it over the top cause I need all this covered up. You don't wanna let nothing out. You want it to cook completely inside of the foil. Everything's in there. Man, the whole work is gonna be inside here. There we go. Completely covered up. I learned this from watching the wild man videos. The boys be out there cooking in the forest and stuff. Well, if you don't have nothing but aluminum foil and some wood, you can make your barbecue. Throw this in the oven, we'll see him in about an hour and a half, maybe two. All right, so next we're gonna work on our canned goods. We got some yams and we got some seasoned collard greens. <laughs> All right, these are self explanatory. You just bust the can open, you know, five, 10 minutes, they done. But you wanna cook these on low, you don't wanna cook them too high unless you're trying to rush to get everything done. You know what I'm saying? These you got to let sit, get real tender, and like when the knife or the fork hit it, it just, uh, that's how you want them done, you know? Uh, this one right here might be a little bit too small for my collard greens, but then again, it might just be just right. And it's just right. All right, so next we about to make this macaroni and cheese. Um, yeah, so cheesy, Bram. It's one of my favorite parts of the meal. We're gonna make it real cheesy. Please believe me. First, I'm gonna get you a pot like this, or you might wanna get a little one like one of these over here and fill it up with some water. And then I go a little bit over the top with the water, so I don't put up too much, because when it starts boiling, the water just rises, you know what I'm saying? And it rises up, you know, for my ideal thing. I'm gonna tell y'all, some people keep these, some people don't. I don't use them, you know what I'm saying? But I keep them for other stuff. You never know what you need for. You can see this, you probably can't. I probably should lift the phone up. But um, this is about where I want my water at. A little bit over the top, not too full, you know what I'm saying? Stick that bad boy on the stove. All right, so we getting to that point where we almost done. Uh, we got everything going now. It's time for us to start this macaroni. You know what I'm saying? I like to, you know, Throw a half a stick of butter in there, a little milk, maybe like a, a, a third of a cup. And don't forget your cheese, baby. Sometimes I use the whole bag. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I toss it. We're pretty much almost done with the sides, the macaroni. We're gonna do some cornbread next. And, you know, pretty much gonna conclude dinner. So you gotta get this thing real cheesy, see? But oh, I'm gonna bring it to you. Bring it to you. Look at that. Look at that cheese, man. All I, look at that, boy. That's bathroom right there. That's bathroom material. Right on the toilet. All right, gang, we getting close to the end, man. Dang, dog, it just went by so fast. I feel like we just started. All right, so we doing the cornbread, and I got my cooking spray. Mm -hmm. I got my little Pyrex, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead and, you know, gently spray the bottom of that thing, you know? Preferably the bottom, but you know, I like to hit the sides too. So don't nothing be too hard to come off. You want to take your batter. You want to go ahead and load him up on in there, you know. Go ahead and load that batter. Give y'all a good look at this batter down here. I reckon y'all want to see that. You know, get it in there real good. You know, scrub the sides. You know Make sure you get all of it in there, you know. Oh yeah. Y'all want some? Okay. Thought somebody said they want it. So. And I was thinking about it, man. You know, I want to do an introductory video when I'm tell y'all about myself, but I guess I can talk about me while I'm cooking too. You know what I'm saying? So, growing up, um, I wasn't really interested in cooking. Like my mama used to bring my brothers and them in the kitchen, be like, "All right, so this I'm gonna teach y'all." 
And do no, nah, I'll go play the Xbox, bro. I wasn't really interested in cooking. It wasn't until I got my own place, like when I really got on my own, like, and I ain't had no money to go to McDonald's all the time, go to Wendy's all the time. So, you know, I was getting food stamps like $180 a month, but I'm like, dang, bro, I don't really know how to cook. So I used to watch racial race shows all the time. Mainly I'll call my grandma, it don't matter what it was. Like, grandma, I need help frying chicken. I don't know when to turn it, you know? Over time, you know, I developed a, I guess you could say a love for it. It's therapeutic, it made me feel good when I can make food, you know? Plus, you gotta eat. If you don't eat, you don't survive. And I like to eat, so. All right, guys, so it definitely went down in this kitchen. I don't know what's going on with these yams, but, um, yeah, I don't really eat yams like that. I was just trying some. Got my collards right here. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And y'all already seen what this macaroni looking like. I really can't wait to get on this, my boy. All right, so there y'all got it. They go the ribs that we did earlier. You know, some put some sauce on them, but they came out pretty, pretty good. I'm ready to munch down on these things right now. And then my cornbread. It's all done. I'm gonna come up with some sayings later. I ain't got nothing to say right now, but thank you for tuning in. Hope everybody have a good and blessed day. Peace.